In the meantime, we begin this Monday with news on the state's first Vaximillion drawing, which will happen Wednesday. Week one registration now officially closed. Here are the numbers, your odds, if you will. 2.75 million Ohioans have a shot at that first of five $1 million prize. The winner's name will be announced Wednesday. While the program has definitely increased our vaccination rates, Brandon Simmons found not everyone is excited about the lottery, and some are trying to shut it down. People on both sides of the aisle are very frustrated about how the money is being spent. Ohio's historic Vaximillion lottery has drawn national attention. Several other states have copied it, while some of our own state legislators work to shut it down. Republican Representative Jenna Powell is taking the lead. It's a gross misuse of taxpayer dollars. So that's really what we're looking at. And we started working on legislation right away um, to, to stop the Vaximillion lottery because we do not believe it's the best use of taxpayer dollars. And people around the state feel the same way. The notion has some bipartisan support, all of whom Governor Mike DeWine disagrees with. Today, he touted the program's success with more than 2.75 million people registering to win and vaccination rates on the rise. We have seen uh, increases really across the, the dem all demographic groups. Among the ages 18 and 19, we've seen a 46% increase. And ages 20 to 49, we've seen a 55% increase in vaccinations. Those ages 16 and 17 saw the largest increase at 94%. DeWine says the program exceeded his expectations with some Clevelanders supporting the decision from the beginning. Whatever it takes to get people to get the vaccine, but that's not why I did it. But that's not stopping Powell and others from moving forward, saying the money would be better served elsewhere, including helping businesses that have closed. Um, and a lot of them had to shut down and they are suffering greatly. So one of the ways we could spend the money more wisely would be to send it to the, um, the small business relief fund. Getting the bill passed quickly is a long shot. While Wednesday's lottery drawing will likely happen, it does threaten vaccine lotteries in the future. Now, Governor DeWine says he has no doubt the lottery got people excited about the vaccine and had a positive impact overall. But when asked, he said he would veto legislation like this if it were sent to his desk, Jay. Now, I think the proof is in the numbers, and the numbers certainly are up. Brandon Simmons live on What's New. Brandon, thanks.